Elizabeth was born in February of 1818 in Dinwiddie, Virginia. Armistead Burrell was her owner as well as her father. Elizabeth moved to Petersburg in 1840 with her half-sister, Anne Burrell Garland, and Anne's husband, Hugh Garland, as well as Elizabeth's mother and her recent child, George. Uh, she lived here uh, until 1847. Elizabeth Keckley asked Hugh Garland if she could purchase her and her son's freedom, and Garland refused. Uh, but in 1852, he agreed that if she could somehow collect $1,200, he would allow her to purchase her and her son George's freedom. Uh, in November of 1855, she had collected enough funding, and there she was able to be manumitted in November of 1855. Elizabeth Keckley, as a free person, was in Washington, D.C. in the spring of 1861, uh, trying to find more employment. The woman that was already a client uh, said that she would introduce Elizabeth Keckley to Mary Lincoln. And Mrs. Lincoln hired Keckley as her personal dressmaker. When Elizabeth Keckley came to Petersburg with President Abraham Lincoln and his wife Mary, on April 7, 1865, they arrived by train. The president and his party split away from Elizabeth Keckley, who chose to experience Petersburg for the first time in nearly 20 years. Uh, she doesn't leave a lot of conversation in her memoir uh, behind the scenes uh, about her time here in Petersburg, but she does say that she found a number of old friends, but the greater portion of the population was strange to me. And she went on to quickly add after that sentence that the scenes suggested painful memories. Certainly by the time uh, Elizabeth Keckley returned to Petersburg, uh, the free black population within this city had increased, uh, but so too had its slave populace. And perhaps what she meant by the greater portion of the populace was strange to me, is that Petersburg had a thriving slave trading industry before the Civil War, and a lot of people in the 20 years since she had been gone uh, had died, of course, but equally a large number of people had most likely been sold away.